Hi there, I'm Rebecca and a really warm welcome back to my channel, Pumpkin Becky. In this week's video we are turning this lovely reclaimed timber planter and a bunch of succulent cuttings into this. Let's find out how. The planter we're using today was made by Luke from Pembury Recycle. I met him at the Cranbrook Nuts in May Festival. There'll be a little link to that video here. It's solid wood, but it's open right the way through and he has just lined it with some plastic. The first job is to fill it with my trusty Ecoco cactus and succulent compost, which has the, I go for the one that has the perlite and the grit in it. And I have added some extra perlite as well. So I've filled that just to below the depth of the plastic liner. Just keep everything safe and make sure it doesn't escape. For the centre of the arrangement I am using a tea light. It's in a plastic container already but I'm also going to put it into a little glass motif just for extra safety. This happens to be one that was left over from my Yankee Candle advent calendar but use anyone. If you're going to use this outside for dining, um, you could use a citronella candle, keep insects away. So I'm just putting my votive right in the centre of the arrangement and I'm going to be planting around it. I'm not going to go super crazy with filling the spaces because I think this could last a little while so I think it could grow into these spaces but you could stuff it full of succulents. The first plants I'm going to put in are these three tiny Hoerthia. I've borrowed them from Stompy. I'm sure he won't miss them. And I'm going to tuck those in to the centre point of each long side. Then I'm going to pop the motif back in and I can use that to plant against. I took these cuttings about a week ago so they have calloused over perfectly. They have grown at a slightly odd angle but it's fine. We've got the beginnings of roots coming here from where old leaves were coming out. So all I'm going to do is literally lay those into the corners. This is Crassula pellucida marginalis rubra. It's a lovely trailing habit succulent and it's got this beautiful pinky purple colouring to the leaves which are also variegated. I've taken cuttings that are forked deliberately so that I can lay them around the acorlis, just like that. All you need to do is make sure the stem is in contact with the soil and the plant will do the rest. I'm just building up the compost a little bit in the centre just to help cover the stems of the crassula and also help the votive stand up proud. Now you're probably wondering how on earth you're going to water this but I think probably the easiest way is going to be with a, a long syringe just obviously without a tip. Just fill the syringe with with water and once it's got going you can start to feed it as well but not initially and then you're just going to dispense water in each area you can be really accurate with something like this and helps you not over water as well helps you not splash it all onto 
onto the votive, onto the woodwork. It won't take long for these little babies to get their roots down either and they will start to fill out really quickly. These are nice healthy plants to begin with. They should put on a really good display for us. And there we go, isn't that sweet? I think that's going to look really pretty on a, a summer's al fresco dining evening. All finished. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's nice to know that planters don't always have to be elaborate and take forever and need really enormous plants. These are literally just cuttings of plants I already have. The planter itself is such a statement that the planting could be quite minimal. There's three shades of green there with the, the pink as pinky purple as well, which is also picked up by the acorlis. That's got little pink tips to the, the leaves. I've got different habits, got very upright pointy, I've got um, trailing and then I've got lovely crown forming as well. I think that's a really lovely combination. Right, that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to rate, share and subscribe to me here on YouTube. And until next time, bye.